All right. All right. We're going to build a flashlight. Let's start by opening up the component library by pressing tab. And in here, we're going to go into basic components tab and find the rod, which is here. Let's click on that. Now, before placing it down, I want to use the scroll wheel to cycle the rotation so that it's facing me like that. Place that down with the left mouse button. And as you can see, it's a bit big, so we're going to scale it down in diameter. So let's press control to and hold control to start scaling. Now, I need to select diameter, so I'm going to press W, that's height, and W again. That's diameter. I'm going to use the scroll wheel to scale it down to 0.13. There it is. Now we're ready to attach the next component, which is the cone. So open up the component library again, and we're going to find the cone. I think it's up here. There it is. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit too big, but it's also facing the wrong way. So we're going to fix the, ro the rotation by cycling the sockets with the scroll wheel. There we go. And we're going to place that down there. But as you can see, it's a little bit too big. So I scale that down again with control and just scale it down 50% with the scroll wheel. There's also, this could be a little bit inside the rod. And we have a tool for that. If we hold down control and shift, we have offset. So with the left mouse button, I can drag this in into the rod by offsetting it by well, minus 100%. So that's looking better. Now all we need to do is add the light to it. So we're going to open up the components library. We're going to find out what kind of light sources we have uh, by typing in light in the search. So we have a few ones, but let's go with a spotlight. We're going to test that. Now that the light could be maybe a little bit stronger. So let's open up the properties editor by pressing E. And in here you find intensity and you see it's set to 50%. Let's drive that up to 100%. The same with range. Let's go for 20. An angle. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's go to 100. Why not? And you can play along with the uh, color as well if you want, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Alright, so you can kind of see that it's, it's already making some light here, but there's no way for me to control it. So let's add two more components, the switch and the controller. Let's open up the component library again with tap. And we're going to go into behavior. And the switch is here at the bottom, so let's click on that. We're going to place that down there. So it's a little bit too big, so we're going to scale that down as well. Control, scroll wheel, down to, let's say, 40%. We're going to do the same with the controller. The controller is somewhere, I think it's further up here in the list, but you can also always search for it. Controller, there it is. Click on that, we're going to place that down here. Now it's facing the, it's not really nice, it's facing the wrong direction, so let's start by rotating it but by holding shift and left mouse button. Well, we get to 90 degrees and we're going to scale that down as well control scroll wheel down to let's say 40 percent as well now all we have to do is open up these scats and make the switch control the light so q to open the scats now we're not going to need this ticker note we do need the spotlight and the switch and here i just want to toggle Whenever I talk with switch, I talk with spotlight. You can play with on and off uh, respectively, but this is the most simplest way of doing it. All right, so let's close that with Q and let's switch the state so that it's oh in there. That was a nice bounce. All right, so it's off. Switch that on, and if I grab it again. And see, I now have a working flashlight. And whenever I don't want to use it, I can just let go and hit the off button again. All right, that's a flashlight.